welcome back. Today we're going to take an introductory look at how to use the new plugin framework being developed by Microsoft called the Manage Extensibility Framework, which is also known as MEF for short. The core goal of MEF is to simplify the creation of extensible application, and MEF offers the ability to uh, discover and pose plugins or new features within your application at runtime, and you can leverage this to load all these plugins very simply and very easily. Now you might be thinking, why do I need yet another plugin framework? You know, Microsoft's developed a couple different ones. There's a couple different open source ones. Heck, I can even use my IOC container. Well, I can tell you the reason. It's simple, dead simple. I've used other different frameworks. I've used my IOC container to allow me to build pluggable applications, and they all work. And they all work pretty easily, and they don't take a lot of time and energy to set up. But I can tell you, MEF takes the cake. It wins hands down in terms of time to market, simplicity of use, and uh, flexibility of use. As you'll see in the next you know, seven or eight minutes, we'll be able to set up an entirely useful demo using MEF that will demonstrate the simple scenarios, which should be enough to get most people up and running. MEF is currently hosted out on CodePlex. Uh, it's currently in Preview 8 slash Beta 2. It will go live hopefully when .NET 4.0 goes live. So if you're interested in checking out the source code, go ahead and grab it from here. So what I've done here is I've defined a couple things up front, something called I rule. This is just our, our marker that says this is a rule that we want to uh, inject into our application, if you will. And I've got a couple simple rules here that inherit off of I rule. Uh, is leap year, is greater than year 2000. Nothing of super significance, but they'll allow us to demonstrate the point here. Now the first thing we want to do whenever we want to use MEF is we want to build something that triggers the composition of all of our different components. So I've got a, a class here called Plugin Manager. I've got a method called Setup Manager. And Setup Manager is going to hold all the magic that lets MEF do its job. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a catalog that will allow us to find all of our, our plugins, also known as exports. And we'll get to exports in a second here, and I'll talk about that more in-depthly. We want to set up this cat catalog, and we're going to create an aggregate catalog. Basically, an aggregate catalog allows me to just use various different catalogs uh, at will. Oop. So the next thing we want to do is create our container. Container is what holds our catalog catalogs. So let's go ahead and create a new composition container. And you'll see composition container takes various different overloads. And we're going to go ahead and provide our aggregate catalog. And then once we create our container, we need to create the belly of the beast, if you will, uh, the the engine that does all the composition for us. And that's a composition batch class. And once we create our composition batch class, all we need to do is say composition batch dot add part. What are we going to add here? We're going to add our composable part, which is going to be this for now. We're done with our engine. We set up our engine. The next thing we need to do is set up our aggregate catalog. And you'll see aggregate catalog has a collection of catalogs that we can access. We're going to add one to it. And for now, we're using the assembly catalog. We're going to say, you know what? I want to scan my current assembly for all plugins. So we're going to say assembly catalog. And you got to tell what assembly to do. So we'll just do assembly get execute and assembly and make it nice and simple for us. Then last but not least, to finish this whole thing off, we just need our composition container. We're going to compose and we're going to provide it our little engine here. And there you have it folks. Six lines that will do the magic that will allow you to get MEF up and running. However, we're not quite done. What we have not done yet is we've not identified where to put our new plugins that are going to be consumed by our application. We've also not talked about how we can mark something as being an export. MEF has two key concepts, an import and an export. We import in plugins. In order to be able to import it, you must mark it as an export. So what do we have to do here? First, let's just go ahead and create a private I list of I rule. And then all we have to do to mark that as an import container is say that this is going to be an import mini, 
and we're going to say it's of type I rule. And then we want to add access to this, so we'll say public I list. I am having a hard time typing today. We've now set up our marker so that when MEF runs, it knows where to put all of our exports. It will actually put it here, and we'll show that. Next thing we need to do is we need to find all of our plugins and mark those as things we want to export. To do that, all you have to do is use the export attribute, and we're going to tell it the type of I rule. And let's go ahead and copy and paste that into there and be done with it. We've now set up MEF to allow us to basically import plugins into our application at runtime dynamically. Let's demonstrate this real quick. To save some time and some fat fingering, let's go ahead and paste in some code. What I have here is just a simple console application. I create an instance of my plugin manager. I'm going to output how many rules have been loaded first just to show that we have nothing. I'm going to call setup, which is that code we just wrote and then basically iterate through all my plugins outputting each, the name of each one. So let's run this. You'll notice first run zero, second run two, and then it loads each one and says I found the various ones. I think that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, now I know that it's not practical that all plugins live within the same executable. Uh, chances are you're going to have multiple executables sprawled all over the place. So let's just show how we can do that. I've got a little child library here. It's got some external rule. And we're going to go ahead and mark that as our attribute as well. So we've done the same thing here as we've done everywhere else. Let's rerun this and see if this works. No, it still only gives me my two. Ah, well, okay. Let's go back to the plugin manager. The reason lies right here. When I set up my Kellogg, I said, I only want to scan the current executable. Well, I created a, li a library outside of my current executable. So what do we need to do? Let's go ahead and copy, paste this. I'm going to use the directory catalog, which is one of the various catalogs available to us. And I'm going to say, let's go ahead and scan everything's in the current directory. Now let's rerun this. And now I've just dynamically loaded a third rule by just basically allowing MEF to scan an entire directory for everything that implements the export attribute. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. You can see that in terms of real application code that you need to add to your system, you're looking at less than 10 lines of code for this simple example. In order to set up a container to receive all your exports, you need to simply mark a collection as an import and provide the type. And you need to, on a rule that you want to export or any you want to export, you can simply mark it as an attribute saying that this is an export of this type. Uh, so as you see, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Took me less than 10 minutes. I hope you learned something. Until next time.